Okay guys, let's get to the eyes. So I haven't got anything on them at the moment. I didn't want to prime them because I'm going to go in with a base anyway. So I'm first of all going to carve out my brow bone with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. And I'm just dragging it down to highlight the brow bone and also, like I said, carve it out so it looks quite structured against this smoky eye that we're creating today. I'm just going with my finger to soften the edges. You really don't need much of this product because a little goes a long way. Is that Scottish? I don't even know. <laughs> So now our brows are carved out, I'm going to go in with a brow bone highlight. So I'm starting from the brow and working down so that I'm not, if I start here and work up then I can tend to go a bit crazy and smoke it out too much. So I like to start from the top down with a smoky eye. So I'm just going to mix together Ice Queen and Shimmer Shimmer, my typical brow bone highlight. And I'm placing it on the very high point of the brow bone. So I'm going to first of all take on a nice fluffy brush, this light orange shade, it's like a peachy tone. I got almost yellow base too to it. And I'm placing this right up near the brow bone where we place that highlight just underneath to create a transition. It's also going to help blend out the edges of that highlight so it's not too harsh. Like when I can place it down last, uh, it can look a bit harsh if I don't blend out the edges. So this is kind of handy to do as well. And I'm bringing it pretty far in as well. Don't mind the veins and stuff on the lid. We we're going to cover that up in a little bit with our base. But I'm just getting the initial transitions down. And even though it's a transition, I still want it to be quite visible amongst the other colours that we're using. So I'm making it quite pigmented. As you can see. On a petite crease brush, I'm taking this like corally... Um, shade from the same palette and placing this just underneath just further transitioning into that sunset and having a more dome shaped brush is going to just help pack that colour um, more precisely into the crease area rather than having it super smoked out I'm going to just take a clean blender brush with no product on it and just softening the edges Next I'm taking Custard from my Dubious Place palette and I'm placing this in the crease with a pencil brush. And then some of that corally shade to blend out the edges. And finally that light orange shade to make out the edges. Done. Next I'm going to take my Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Espresso. It's just a normal brown eye coal. You guys can use whatever you have at home. And I'm placing this all over the lid as a base for the deep brown that we're going to go in with and next. I'm kind of go between my fingers and this buffer brush. And I want the lash line to be the most pigmented. And to just kind of fade up. I'm using my little accent brush from Real Techniques. This one definitely works better than that big buffer brush because I can get closer to the edge with this one. It doesn't have to be perfectly blended because we're going to go in with shadow anyway. I just kind of want it to fade a little bit into those other colours which we'll go back in with because I've blended a bit of it away. With this look it's actually key that you don't see where each colour starts. You want it all to fade into one another. And then the coral shade. And then a light orange shade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take chocolate from my Dewey's Place palette and, play, and pack that all over the brown um, coal liner. So I'm going to focus most of the product on the lash line and I'm just kind of using padding, swiping down motions to blend it and fade it out towards the pinky purple shade. And I'm just going to grab this brown from my Morphe palette and place this through the crease right up against that brown shade to fade it out into the pink. And I might even mix it with that deep brown as well. I'm taking chocolate again. I'm just bringing it up to where we faded out the brown. So that if I did blend any of it away, it's kind of bringing back that vibrancy. And going back in with custard lightly on the edges 
and then that coral shade again. That's getting tongue tied. Get that coral shade in there. Bring it back. Bring it back to life. Oh, that's so pretty. And then back in with that light orange shade. Oh, this is so pretty, guys. It's so pretty. So I'm not going to bother doing any liner with this look. I mean, it's a smoky eye. It's very dark, so I feel like the lashes will mesh in so seamlessly. So I'm first of all going to apply on some mascara, and I'll be right back with the lashes on it as well. I think I'll apply it lashes off camera, so I'll be right back. So the lashes I went in with are my Attitude Lashes in the style Feisty. Feisty? No. What was the style? In the style Feisty. Oh, yeah, by the way, I did put a black eye coal in my tight line and waterline. I was going to do brown, but then I was like, oh, I feel like it would just melt too much and I wanted to give the eyes a bit of a standout, so I did black. But, of course, you guys can do brown if you want. Grabbing chocolate again from my Juvia's Place palette, I'm going to smudge that tightly against my bottom lash line. I'm then taking those two brown shades from my Morphe palette and smudging that against the chocolate shade. And then I'm taking custard again on that same pencil brush we used with it before. And I'm buffing that against the brown. I'm then taking both that corally shade and that light orange shade and buffing that lightly under the bottom lash line right next to custard. And then I'm just placing on some bottom wash mascara. For my inner corners, I'm going to spritz my brush with some finishing spray and I'm going to dip into Tarte from my Juvia's Place palette and place that right smack bam on there. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. This wraps it up. If you guys did like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. I really appreciate it. And just letting you know, this video has been pre-filmed. So if you're watching this at the moment, I'm currently traveling, or traveling around Greece. So if you do leave a comment, I won't be forgetting about you. I'll just comment back when I can. Um, if you would like to, you can follow me on my social medias right here. I'll leave them somewhere here. So you guys can keep up to date with what I'm doing, all that kind of jazz if you'd like. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon. Bye.